Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us here on this Wednesday morning. We're going to start with a look outside your weather window. This is a shot of Interstate 15 at the Malad Pass. Looking pretty good as we start off on this Wednesday morning. Freeze warning in effect till 9 o'clock this morning. Area shaded in blurple. Yeah, that's a cross between blue and purple. We're looking at uh, cold temperatures, especially through craters of the moon, mud lake area at or a little bit below the freezing mark this morning. Right now, 48 degrees Pocatello. We have light winds at 10 miles per hour, about 45 degrees in town, 41 degrees Idaho Falls with clear skies and a six mile per hour wind. So it's going to make it feel like 37 degrees. Right now, here's a look at some of the temperatures around the region. Still in the 20s through Afton, 30s for Jackson, Driggs, 20s for Island Park, 40s in through the upper Snake River Plain. A little bit cooler as we make our way in through Power County, 47 degrees through American Falls. Twin starting off the day at 53 degrees. Wind speeds right now, not too bad. Calm in through Blackfoot, single digit wind speeds through the Upper Valley, Idaho Falls, Rigby, Rexburg, Mud Lake, single digit wind speeds as well. Pocatello about 10 mile per hour winds. Here you can see as we take a look at our storm tracker radar, this this system in through the Montana area. We have high pressure built up through the Pacific Northwest. So any of that storm activity is going to push in through Canada into Montana and just just miss us entirely. We're going to have beautiful sunny skies for today with our light winds. Highs today and through the upper valley, upper 60s, low 70s for daytime highs and through the lower valley. Teton County, Wyoming and Idaho area sunshine today. Jackson, Afton, Island Park, Driggs all hitting a high of 62 degrees today. 60 for Yellowstone, 65 for Soda Springs and for the Central Mountains. Lots of sunshine as well. 70 degrees for our high in Salmon. 71 Chalice will be in the middle to upper 60s through Ledor, Stanley, Mackey and Arkansas. And then overnight tonight into your Thursday morning, mostly clear skies will drop down to below the freezing mark for Salmon, Stanley, right at the freezing mark for Ledor and Chalice. Highlands in western Wyoming, mostly clear, just a few clouds here and there with overnight lows, 30 for Jackson, into the 20s for Afton for an overnight low, Yellowstone 33, 31 for Island Park and for Soda Springs. And for the Snake River Plain, we are expecting clear skies tonight, dropping our lows into the 30s. Yeah, we'll be hovering around that, just a little bit above that freezing mark for tonight, Idaho Falls 35, Rexburg 34, St. Anthony 33, Pocatello 38. Now here's a look at our Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven day forecast looking pretty good as we head into the weekend. Sunshine 73 degrees for Pocatello for the high for the next few days will remain in the low 70s for those daytime highs into next week. Blackfoot also with the sunshine tomorrow and Friday, Saturday, just a few clouds. Winds picking up not too bad. 10 to 15 mile per hour winds with daytime highs in the low 70s. Idaho Falls looking for 70 degree weather for Thursday, Friday, Saturday and into next week with overnight lows a little bit above the freezing mark. So those overnight low temperatures getting to where we should be for our seasonal averages down in the 30s. Rexburg sunshine tomorrow and Friday, mostly sunny for Saturday. So looking like a beautiful October weekend with highs right around 71 degrees into the weekend and next week. Teton area sunshine as well. A little bit on the cooler side, 60s for our daytime highs, overnight lows below the freezing mark. And for the Central Mountains, look for sunshine tomorrow. Just a few clouds on Friday and Sunday. Daytime highs in the 70s with with our overnight lows in the 30s. Deanne?